welcome back to Sand Shark Customs, where if I can do it, you can too. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I know I did. Kids loved it. Got a bunch of presents. I tell you what, when a kid gets, and he's five years old, gets, I think he got five, maybe six Nerf guns. It's an all-out battle in the house, so. But it's really fun. I, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, all right, so to get us back on board with the uh, 392 Hemi swap that I'm doing, today... Uh, we're going to follow up on what we had we had completed the um, last video, which was removing the um, basically everything connected to the radiator here. Uh, I had read through the directions slash documentation on Jeep Speed Shop's website, website, and I have a couple confusing things. Um, you know, as, as I'm looking through it, I don't really see anything that, you know, I got, I got it up on my tablet right here. I don't really see anything that talks about removing the radiator or, I mean, if I'm correct here, I don't, yeah, removing that or removing the whole front section. I know, I know basically everything right here unbolts and removes to give you, give you easy access to the engine bay. One thing I did that, I actually just did it, the inner fender liners, I removed those, I think it's like four bolts or something like that, uh, 10 millimeter bolts. There's one right there and there's a couple up here. But that just gives me more, more room to work inside there. I did it to both sides here. Lots of room, lots of room. I think what I'm gonna do today, I was gonna go on to, what part would that be? It would have been part uh, 10 that was disconnecting uh, a whole bunch of electrical connections. But I think what I want to do first is get a little more access to the engine bay and take out the the, the radiator. Um, let's see if the coolant bottle, I think, just pulls out. Wow, well, yeah. Apparently, I can't lift it right up. Okay, we'll have to use two hands for that one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a smooth, just grab it, lift up. But then taking off the radiator and, and I think I'm going to take off this whole front area right here. I don't really see a need to have it on while I'm working on, working on the engine. And I believe, you know, I haven't actually watched a full swap yet, but you wouldn't want to damage anything up here while you're taking off the engine or taking the engine out. So I think that's what I'm going to try to accomplish today. Take the front part off. If we get to the wiring, we do and we'll continue from there i also want to give a shout out <laughs> last video we're at i want to say 39 subscribers this video we're pushing 47 subscribers 46 subscribers awesome cool remember subscribe down below and yeah we'll continue from there Okay, to remove the fan, there is two eight mil bolt bolts. One right here, one more on this side right here. And then you just have the uh, fan wiring. Once you remove those, it just lifts right out. Okay, next we'll pull out the radiator. And it looks like there's two um, 10 mil bolts right here in the corner. Oops.
All right, I feel like that's a lot more space to work with. Less stuff to get damaged. I'm also gonna take off this, this rail and the wiring harness and get a little more room going on in here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so in order to take this off, we need to take this wiring harness off. You can tell in here, it extends all the way up here, so. It looks like to get this front rail off and get easy access, looks like there's two bolts up high, and then, let me pull this little shroud back, there's two more bolts that connect to the front frame here, and that's, I think that's it. There's four on that side, and then same thing on this side, right here. And then there's two more right behind this shroud that goes in right here. So, I don't think I need to take the shroud off right now. Let's just pop these clips off, and then we can continue from there. So, this is for documentation purposes here. So we got, don't know what plug this is for. But it comes around like over that. I have it going back over there. Okay. Okay, it looks like we have quite a few electrical clips to get taken off here. Got the horn, lights. These are aftermarket LED lights. So, looks like that's some of the newer wiring down here. But we'll get that all taken out and we'll go from there. Same with this side too. <clears throat> Okay, that wasn't too bad. Looking at it right now, way more room. It's awesome. Last piece is to get the rest of the front wiring harness moved you know, off to the side over there. I'm also gonna go back and put in, put in these bolts because I don't, want to, uh, I don't want to lose any of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then it looks like we just have a few clips right here. One, two, three, and this whole wiring harness can, can shift that direction and up and out of the way. So let's get to that.
Now that that front is off, like you see right here, we got a couple things we gotta do. Let's go back to our list here. And now we have to disconnect the following uh, electrical connectors. We got alternator, throttle body, knock sensor. So let's start with those. Got the alternator right here. Let's see, got a red clip. Okay, the alternator is done, so let's go to the throttle body. So you guys can see this is throttle body. It looks like somebody has done some work before because it's held on with a zip tie. I am digging away at trying to figure out what the different sensors are and the locations that they're at to remove them. And to be honest, I know that uh, pretty much every sensor has to come off of the the engine here. So, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out where certain sensors are. So I'm really just going to start unplugging all the sensors that all the all the connections that are connected to the engine need to be undone anyways. So I'm going to just start taking them off and then I will figure out what I need to keep and what I don't need to keep after that. My GoPro had died so I have to finish up on my cell phone. That's what I'm using right here. But I was able to get all the clips off for all the, the various um, electrical items that were on the uh, DIY list. And yeah, we should be ready to go. I'm gonna move on to the next step tomorrow and we'll, we'll get some more work done. I feel like I accomplished a lot. I can get to the engine and get a lot more stuff done. So yeah, we'll end up there. We'll end this video with, you know, me saying thank you for watching and uh, we'll just keep plugging along. Eventually, you know, you'll be able to hear this engine run, which hopefully is going to happen. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Peace.